These stories are inspired by the actual case files of the Office of Scientific Investigation and Research. Is that the best you can do, Marty? Or should I call you Mary, huh? Here, be my guest. Show you how a man does it, all right? There. Nothing to it. Just gotta put a little jam into it, is all. All right, who wants to show Mary how it's done? You. Tanya? Whatever. Look, I don't think she wants to do it. Oh? Well, when I want your opinion, I'll give it to you. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Go for it. I said hit it. Come on, what was that, a love tap? Come on, Mary hit it that hard. Heads up. Jeez. Oh, that's pathetic. No kids were hurt. Has anyone been here since it happened? Just the police. Once they decided it was an accident, I locked the shop up. It was an accident. Why'd you call us? Well, there's been a lot of strange things happening around here. But this was the worst. Is it possible it just uh, slipped into gear and went out of control? Sure, that'd be possible. This car had an engine. students witness a terrifying accident. Not one of them is willing to come forward. OSIR investigators believe they had uncovered a psychometric manifestation, an automobile imbued with its own lethal force, like the death car of the Archduke Ferdinand, all of whose owners have died while driving it. But this phenomenon had a far more bizarre element. Thanks for dinner. Can I make a suggestion? <laughs> You know that, um, that toque thing that you always wear? <laughs> yeah. I think that you should lose it. <sighs> I'll take that under advisement.
Uh, yuppie. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. oh, what was the address again? Look, the car rolled off the blocks and hit me. What more can I tell you? Mr. Bodine, we both know there's more to it than that. Are you sure you're not from the insurance company? Shouldn't you be more concerned with the complaints on your personnel record? All right. Okay. So, again, when did all this start? Right at the beginning of the school year. Just after our new bunch of hoods arrived. Boy, we get all the losers, you know, all the head cases. Real teacher of the year. Kids have a choice. Juvie or royal. I'd hit him with a car myself. Uh, I'd be getting a line. Oh, hey, guys. The, uh, the auto shop is absolutely supercharged with varying energy fields, and I found pockets of activity all over the school. Well, could the source be geophysical? No. Nope. I did a geological survey, air sampling, I even looked into the AC filters. Nothing. So what made the car move? Telekinetic or poltergeist activity. Either way, the situation's anomalous. I hate it when you say that. What's your take on the students, Anton? You think they'll cooperate? Royalton is a custodial school. And given their history of criminal and antisocial behavior... So if we go in there like Mom and Dad, they'll just tune us out. How about we go in undercover? We are. You know, the principal's put some staff on leave to make room for us. Uh, you've got science. Oh, well, there's a stretch. <laughs> think you can handle a gym class full of raging hormones? Oh, I'll try. What's your cover? Uh, the only one left. Uh, don't laugh. Drama teacher. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, give me a background on the kids involved. Okay. First, we have Gloria Truby. She's a veteran of three foster homes. She's been working the streets since she was 15. Then there's Marty Cross, 19. Small-time dealer, big-time loser. He's been trying to finish his diploma for the last two years. Tanya Norton. She's a big problem for her adoptive parents. Shoplifting, arson, truancy. She was diagnosed as clinically depressed a year and a half ago. What are you looking at, yo? You want some? Warren Galt, the school bully. Gang member since he was 12. He and his buddies have been in and out of Royalton so often they park in the staff lot. He's got a mean temper. His math teacher suffered a nervous breakdown after he pulled a knife on her. Where's Mr. Peller? Mr. Peller is off sick. I'll be taking over till he gets better. I'm Ms. Donner. Well, Mr. Peller said I could sit out class on account of my knee. What's your name? Pitt. Brad Pitt. I don't see any special instructions, so I guess I'll just have to suffer through it, Brad. <laughs> oh, one, two, three, four, nine. I'm supposed to have uh, ten. Who's missing? Sorry. You were born sorry. <laughs> All right, let's do some laps, everyone. Come on, stretch it out, let's go. Now, due to a family emergency, Mr. Prager here, come say hello, Mr. Prager, is going to take over Mrs. Jackson's duties until she returns. And I trust you will all make him feel extremely welcome. <laughs> Thanks. Hi, how's it going? Oh, this is a, a drama class. Uh, you could at least act friendly. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little new at this. Maybe, maybe we could just watch a, a movie or something. Uh, Mr. Prager, may I suggest that you start with the mirroring exercise? Mirroring? Yeah. Good luck. Okay, well, let's uh, do the mirroring exercises. Let's let's begin. Everybody, uh, everybody, pair up. Looks like it's you and me.
You don't have a clue, do you? Everybody begin. You know, just loosen up. Have, have fun with it. Just relax. There's always work for a good mind. You got a name, or should I just call you Mr. Attitude? Get bent. Please put your names on the top right-hand corners of these papers. And remember, this is not a test. I'm just trying to find out what everybody knows. There you go. Who are you working with? I don't need a partner. <laughs> I think for this experiment, you do. Why don't we team you up over there? Okay, this will take the entire two hours of the class. Nice shooting, Warren. Okay, Tanya, you're up next. This ought to be good. Do I have to? Just give it a try. No pressure. <laughs> It seemed to accelerate under its own power. Hmm. I'll run some tests on the ball. How'd the other kids react? Oh, spooked, except for Tanya. Any kids in your class make an impression? No, not yet. I'm gonna have to come up with some discreet way of testing the EM fields around the kids. I'm gonna head to Central Lab, see if I can't rig something up. You gonna go all the way there tonight? Yeah, yeah I, I uh, wanna get a jump on things. Yeah, that seems like a good plan. Hey, Claire. Hi. Claire. Hi. Oh, we weren't expecting you. Hi. Um, here's the file that you asked for. We can review the details when you're free. No, uh, hang on, Claire. Uh, we're almost done here. I'll have Tanya transfer to my drama class, so uh, that's it. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Ma? Thanks, guys. See ya. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe I should have called first. Claire, this isn't such a good idea. You mean us? No, no, I just mean at work, you know. Matt, when are we not at work? <laughs> Is something wrong? No, no, nothing's wrong. I'll, I'll call you later, okay? Leader Ellis case. What I saw with the basketball reminds me of the twins from last year. Oh, Lindsay, there's no evidence that these kids have shared psychokinetic abilities. No, not, not yet, but we're dealing with the same kind of thing. Inanimate objects coming to life. Well, as I recall, anything that became a target of the twins' PK abilities was magnetized. Now, Peter's done the readings at Royalton. He came up with some energy fields, but nothing like that. No. He hasn't finished running his test yet, though. What's this? It's the experiment that Matt and Peter set up with the twins at the scrapyard. Documented proof of PK ability. It's amazing. Yeah, now look, that even when they move farther away from the oil drum, their power is strong and focused. Are you saying this resembles what you saw in the gym? Well, that basketball didn't launch itself at Warren. And you think that Tanya is responsible? Or she had some help. Frank. I hear you were in the lab. Yeah, I was just trying to put something together for a case we're working on. Like this? A toy, Frank? Equipped with a microscopic sensor in the base that automatically measures EM activity within a five meter radius. <laughs> How did you... Son, if I'm to count on your involvement on the committee, I can't have you distracted by details. Oh, uh, yeah. 
I uh, haven't even given you my answer yet. No, you haven't, have you? I can't say I'm not tempted. Well, our research is at a crucial stage. I would like you to be part of it. Am I keeping you from something? Yeah, I'm sorry, I, I, I have a science class in an hour. I, I gotta go. Well, there's something that I'd like you to see that I think might help you with your decision. Perhaps we can meet later. Sure. Give my best to the team. I will, and uh, thanks for this, Frank. I'm opening in 20 minutes, you know. Shh. Just a sec. Yes, I'm in. Why, seventh level of doom? No, the CIA's encrypted database. I thought selling booze after hours was bending the rules. You know, the CIA had a paranormal unit up until a few years ago. Mm, what, like mind readers? Remote viewers, telepaths. Mm. Oh, I got booted <laughs> offline. Good. We still got 15 minutes. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, okay, I'm 16. Tell me. What? Were you a cool kid in high school? I was the coolest. <laughs> I couldn't stand the cool kids. <laughs> then. <laughs> you screwed up, Tanya. Big time. No one noticed. You know the deal. But it's not fair. Grow up. Those three are always together. Yeah, they were all in Bodine's class. Oh, hi. How are you gentlemen settling in here? Oh, fine, fine, thanks. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> you don't have to be so formal just because I'm the vice principal. Oh, OK, thank you. You know, Royalton is not for everyone. I'm talking about teachers. Some of these kids uh, can be a little Difficult. <laughs> but, you know, if we can get just one of them on the right path, he will steal your car and drive down it. <laughs> Very reassuring. <laughs> you guys don't get picked on like I do. You don't understand what it's like. Why can't I... Because we're supposed to be friends looking out for each other. You guys don't even need me. You don't even like me. Not when you act like an idiot. Sucks, the dorms stink, and I've still got six months to go. But it certainly beats juvenile detention, doesn't it? Hmm? You've had a nasty cut, but I don't think you'll need stitches. Am I going to have a scar? I'm afraid so. Cool. You're not afraid of needles, are you? As if. Just taking a tender shot here. I understand a teacher was hurt just a few days ago. Oh, well, you know accidents will happen. Yeah. Well, I suppose you and your friends will have to be more careful from now on. I told you I cut it on my locker. Now straight back to class. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, we saw all three of them together in the hallway at the time of the event. And they were all there when Bodine was hit by the car. But the others weren't around when Tanya did her Harlem Globetrotter number, so that makes Tanya the only one present at all three events. Thanks for dropping by. Traffic. It is a long drive from Central Lab. <clears throat> all indicators are that we're looking at a powerful form of telekinesis. Because we have solid proof or no other answer? Uh, I have a report from the Seismology Institute here somewhere. 
Um, uh, yeah, here we go. No, there were there were no tremors in the area that would cause that kind of damage. Yeah, well, you're supposed to read your homework before class. I'm sure that Tanya's friends factor into this somehow. Well, friendships have a dramatic impact at that age. The need to be accepted. Peer pressure. It's a powerful force. Yeah, so is telekinesis. I like the combo. Okay, uh, trust. Trust funds, trust accounts, uh, trust in me. <laughs> Yeah, you're right, that's gone too far. What about, uh, what about trusting each other? That's, uh, man, that's important, right? Mm -hmm. Trust me, this sucks. Uh, yeah. Why don't we try one of these trust exercises? Um, okay, hey, everybody pair up. Come on, everybody pair up, please. Just like with the mirroring exercises that you did so well at. Come on, pair up. Thank you. One person in front, the other behind, the other person in behind. Catch. Come on, you two. It's, it's not going to kill you. This is stupid. What's the matter? Don't you trust me? Like I should. We got a problem here? Scared, Marty? You go first. See? You can trust me. Magnetic fields. The opposing polarities of the magnets allow the top to defy gravity. Or at least confuse it. Who wants to give it a spin? Anyone? I'll go. Warren, right? Come on up here, Warren. Okay. Good firm grip. Spin it right in the middle. Way to go. Yeah, you just have to find the point of balance. Give it another try. This thing's busted. <laughs> well, it's a little tricky. Why don't you let someone else have a try? Anyone else? Anyone else want to try? Gloria, why don't you come up and have a try? I don't do toys. You can do me anytime, baby. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, that's enough. Gloria, give it your best shot. What do you say? There you go. Nice firm grip. Give it a spin right in the middle. Hey, first time, not bad. That's some trick. She's the expert on tricks. <laughs> What is it with you? Are you trying to get us busted or what? Look, he pissed me off. I just lost it, all right? Deal with it. But it felt good, didn't it? You're both gonna blow it for us. Look, I said I was sorry, okay? Maybe you've got nothing to be sorry about. I mean, who says she gets to tell us what to do anyway? Why do we have to listen to her? Miss Stoner, are you having your lunch shell fresco today? <laughs> Do you mind if I join you? Um, you know, I've actually got to uh, work on my class plan. I, I'm uh, sorry, I can't. Well, how about if we have coffee another time? What do you think? 
Sure. Mr. Marsh, uh, the principal seems to think I'm a bit of a cheerleader, but <laughs> <laughs> I like to make sure everybody's happy. Let's do that um, uh, tomorrow. Great. Tomorrow. Terrific. Great. Terrific. Tanya? Hi, you got a minute? Sure. Tell me, how much do you really hate basketball? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> but you know, it gets easier with practice. And if you ever need some help, you know, just ask. Sure. That was a hell of a rebound shot you sent Warren the other day. It was no fluke, was it? <laughs> Tell me how you did it. Hey, it's okay. I can keep a secret. I better not. Your heart rate is still a bit high. Is that from the transformer or from the exposure to telekinesis? Hmm. That's a tough call. There's two forms of energy. If Pete were here, he'd have a handle on that. Power company claims there was no surge in the system. Well, the energy that blew that transformer came from somewhere. It looked like it was directed at you. Or Tanya. She was just opening up to me, too. Has Pete followed up with Gloria? Couldn't say. What are the odds of there being more than one kid with PK powers in this school? You know, I may be onto something. I came across a CIA database called Project Fledgling. They catalog children who exhibit psi abilities. Your tax dollars at work. Where's Pete, anyway? He got a call to go to Central Lab. He's making a habit of that. If Tanya is the only one with PK ability, then why did the Transformer fall on both of us? An act of self-destruction like that is consistent with extremely low self-esteem. I don't think she's suicidal, Anton. But I do think that someone is trying to keep her from talking to me. Any idea who? Marty and Gloria. Maybe they know about her power and they're trying to keep her under their control. Mm. If they put too much pressure on her, she could try to break away from the group. Maybe that's what she's trying to do. Except it's extremely hard for any teenager to stand up to her friends, especially Tanya, with her special abilities. She probably feels alienated. She's totally alone in the world. Well, we'll have to convince her that she's not. Our donations and government contracts don't go that far. From time to time, we have to establish relationships with other like-minded associates. We have to pay for our toys somehow. And Tesla Industries is part of this. Well, I told you this was Major League material. You've heard of the Human Genome Project? <laughs> They've been mapping every strand of human DNA for decades. And once the research is finished, what do you think that knowledge will be used for? Curing disease through cellular manipulation, uh, correcting genetic defects. Oh, dear. You have been reading too many science journals. Now, you can either read about science breakthroughs, or you can write them. The choice is yours. I'll let you know by the end of the week. Fine. After that, the committee will move on to the next candidate. Understood. I'm glad you advanced the cause of the paranormal, but has it ever occurred to you you almost got yourself killed? 
It wasn't that big a deal. Yeah, right. What don't you need? <laughs> Why don't you tell me? A friend of mine has an apartment in Montreal. Are you busy this weekend? It's tempting, but... Work. Gavin Hagen? Who wants to know? Collins, Federal Security. Come with us, please. Hey, wait a minute. Get up. Walk in the car. What the hell do you want? Message I, I didn't get on here till after midnight. So. I have a job too, Matt. What? I, I didn't call you, and then all of a sudden my priorities are out of whack. Yeah, maybe they are. This has nothing to do with Frank or the job. Oh, come on. It's got everything to do with you. I could always work for another case manager. We could find a solution. If you wanted to. I don't want to. I don't think so. You know, Matt, there is a reason that you have three ex-wives. At a certain point in your life, you got to stop running away from commitment. I never said I didn't want to see you anymore. Well, do you? Sorry to interrupt, but um, I could use a little help here. Next time you decide to tap into a secured government database, use your own phone line. I needed information. You people know the rules. Look, can't we find some way to cooperate? If I wasn't cooperating, her lawyer would be having this conversation. All right. Where are the kids? Tell us about Project Fledgling first. The project located and studied children with telekinetic and paranormal powers. But the project failed and was disbanded years ago. What, you, you think these kids were part of that program? I'm sure of it. We believe the founder of the program managed to hang on to three of the subjects. Leaving without saying goodbye? We don't have to listen to her. Do what she says. We're the ones with the power, not her. Tanya, we're in this together. You can't just leave. Why the hell should I stick around when you tried to kill me? If I wanted you dead, I wouldn't have missed. That's supposed to make me feel better? Her name was Marla Cook. Fledgling was her project from the get-go. She was obsessed with the kids in the program. Swell. The paranormal Brady Bunch. <laughs> Tanya, Marty, Gloria. It's after hours. So why is she waiting until now to get them all together? Yeah, um, I guess she went for them to grow up. This one. <sighs> why am I going through all this again? You know what? Have Elson, you free up more of your time so you can make the briefings. Not. I was going to tell you about it, all right? Uh, there's just some research that Frank wants me to look into. Frank, I see. Look, this means something to me. What, in this case doesn't? Well, no, of course it does. It, it, it's not enough. Are you sure you know what you're getting into? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. All right. Be careful with these. They work in seconds. There's got to be some other way. 
I wish there was. But beyond the fact that these kids have extraordinary powers, they're also emotionally unstable. And Miss Holton's influence could be abusive. We're almost ready? Why don't we try and reason with them, Matt? After what we've seen them do, I'm not risking it. What, so we're going to tranquilize them? I'm afraid that's the safest approach. By the time they've slept it off, we'll have them in a secure environment away from Miss Holton's influence. Tanya, you're going to have to come with us. Where? Well, I can't tell you right now, but it's going to be somewhere safe. That's what you promised me when you brought me here. Now, where would you be if I hadn't found you, huh? I know, but... You would be on the street. All of you. Hmm? No, I wouldn't. Tanya, you have to listen to me and everything's going to be all right. You cannot talk to anyone else. I don't have to do what you tell me. Yes, you do. Get her. West dormitory's down that way. I don't like this, Matt. Okay, let's get this over with. Gloria. What are you doing here? I want to talk to you. Look, um, I belong to an organization. And uh, we know all about your abilities. We want to help you. Look, I don't need your help, OK? We think you do. We want to get you away from this whole time. No! I'm sorry, Gloria. I'll stay with her. Thanks, Anton. Jim. Now, Marty, the girls don't understand the responsibilities that goes with this gift you've been given. But I know that you understand. Thanks. Now, unfortunately, when we find Tanya, she might find us. But you're a lot stronger than her. Always been my favorite. Oh, hello, Mr. Axon. Um, I was uh, just showing Marty to the dorm. You can drop the act, Miss Cook. Party's over. What did he call you? Oh, you didn't tell them about Project Fledgling. the company? The CIA? Go to hell. Uh, amateurs. Tanya? Tanya? What are you doing here? I came to help. Stay back. I've been able to do it ever since I was a little kid. I never told anyone before. We felt like freaks till Miss Holton brought us here. She said she'd help us learn how to use our power. Train us. For what? I don't know. For you! 
It was... It was all for you. Tanya, you don't have to listen to her. You can come with me. She's not going anywhere with you. Tanya, they don't care about you. Tanya, don't listen to her. I'll make my own decisions. Tanya? Tanya, come with me. Don't listen to them. It's oh. over. You... You have no right to interfere with my children! Tanya, honey. Tanya? Tanya, honey, you belong with us. We're nothing without each other. I just want to be normal. Oh, but sweetie, don't you understand? You're special. You're very special. Marty. Take her. I don't trust anyone. No choice. No. No, don't, don't listen to them. No. No. I gave up everything for you. I loved you. When they shut down her project, Cook went underground. Apparently, she was going to use the kids for some sort of revenge. Or to prove she was right. Mm -hmm. I've got to go. Have a good weekend. Yeah. In Montreal. Case manager's final log. Matt Prager recording. Marla Cook has been arrested. Dr. Hendrick's initial tests show that the Operation Fledgling students have remarkable powers. Working with social services, we've helped place all of them in safer environments. Break her up. existence of psychokinesis challenges conventional science. It is not yet established whether each of us has hidden telekinetic ability or whether it's the unique gift of a chosen few. Well, in the case of Tanya, Gloria, and Marty, we hope that they have learned to manage their PK abilities in a responsible manner. For Sci Factor, I'm Dan Ackroyd.